Yeah, the but same. they say the same thing, but do they live the same thing? Mm. Okay. That's the difference. Look at that Anybody life. can say they got good pussy, but will, who is what, really... What makes your pussy so good? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I got to ask the niggas. They say know. it's really wet and like, they say like, it'd be like, like, I'd be is it tight? Tight. It's tight. Yeah. It's wet. It be like squirt. Uh, it's a lot of shit be going on down squirt? there. I don't even can you, can you squirt out. on command, or is it? No, I can't. It, it, it's, it's not the, that good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's it's not yeah, that yeah. Good. Ooh, it, it, Yo, Sneeko coming out with some fire, bro. It's not that good. <laughs> All right, three, two, one, and we're live. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me on another episode of Jesus Talks. Jesus Talks. All right. Today, we're going to be reacting to a Sneeko video on Fresh and Fit, bro. Sneeko is really going viral, bro. And like I said, I respect his content. I like his content. I respect his hustle. You know, maybe there's there's certain ways in which he communicates that I disagree with and I might be hard on it because, again, I'm just being genuine. I'm being myself. This is how exactly how I react to it. But at the end of the day, listen, I respect every single content creator. That being said, I was on Instagram and I saw one of his stories, bro. And, and, he, and this is what he posted up. I'm going to show y'all. This is what he posted up, bro. He posted, I quit streaming on his stories, and then he posted him up with a bruised face. You could sub. I quit. I go on the subway one time. It I'm never streaming again. Yo, it's not. You should see the other guy. Like, I f you take this internet shit too far, bro. You see, look, he, po he, post he posted this of himself, bro, like, being messed up, being beat up and all that. And bro, like, honestly, I'm not going to lie, bro. I had a rage inside me to be like, yo, this happened in New York, bro. Yo, like, I don't, I don't know him at all. But the fact that I thought he got hit, he got beat up for just saying things online, on stream. That honestly, if you really pay attention to it, he, it comes from a, a, a very smart intellectual place, bro. He really connects a lot of the dots together. Now, whether I disagree with it or agree with it, that's a different story. But either way, it's it's very uh, motivational and inspiring to watch the way in which he communicates um, his truth. Now, that being said, the, he he faked this, bro. I was so mad. I was like, yo, like I'm ready to help you, bro. Like if you want to spar, if you want to sit here and get and level up on fighting, because I know he takes some boxing. I was like, damn, bro, like. Oh, bro. I, I don't know, bro. When I when I see somebody else get beat up, I feel like unjustly, dude. Like, and I don't know anything that happened in the situation, but the way in, in which he was acting, I was like, yo, like, you got you to gotta stick up for Sneeko, bro, all right? You can't be silenced, bro. He's being silenced on YouTube, and now he's trying to be silenced in the streets? Nah, bro. Like, ah, uh, I hate that. I hate that. Now, he was just trolling everybody, bro. He was trolling because he was trying to get uh, a reaction out of all his haters that said, oh, you deserve it, you earned it. And he trolled everybody. He went on a stream and it's, and it's great, bro. And like I said, I like to see him grow. I like to see what he's doing. He's just, he's trolling the internet and he's speaking his truth in uh, his own unique way. So I thought it'd be fitting to react to a, a fresh and fit video. Does your girl care about what you want? While Sneeko was on the panel. I didn't even know he was on the show, which is insane. Hey. All right, let's start now. So on the panel, first question is, ladies. What's the first question? If you found a man that you wanted, Right? Do you care what he actually wants from you? I will start right here. Do cares actually care about what you want as a man? Let's see what they have to say. Of course. Hundred percent. Of course, I care what he wants from me. But do you ever ask? <laughs> ask what he wants? Mm -hmm. Of course, I'm straight up. Of course. I no. ask. I ask. What do you? Has a woman actually ever asked you what you care about? All right. I I I don't think I don't think I've ever had that conversation. I can't really remember it from the top of my head. I don't believe so. I don't think a woman really ever asks what I care. I just have to start stating things and seeing if they agree with it or not. Like I have to, I have to drive the conversation in, in, in the way in which I want it to go to in order for me to portray to a girl, hey, this is what I want. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think I've ever been directly asked that question by a girl. Hey, do you want this? I don't know. What do you want first of all out of a relationship? What do you want out of life? What do you want as a man? What are you looking for? I'm not gonna get into a relationship with somebody without knowing what they want. So just double double down on this. If he says to you, you know what, I care about you, I want you, but no girls nights out. No girl nights out? Yeah. That's one of his requirements. Oh wow. Wow. 
wow, let's see what she's going to say, bro. Because I, I think most women would just be like, yo, get fucked. Let's be honest, bro. They're, they're going to say that. I, I think they're going to say that. And <sighs> let's see. Ah, do you really care, though? Do I really care about girl nights out? No, about him. About him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're asking tough questions over here. <laughs> I do. See, why is it so tough? She just said. She said, "Do you actually care about what men want?" And it's like, if he sets that requirement, they're immediately just like, I guess they don't want to say no. They're just, they're just laughing it off. Care about him? If I care about, I mean. I dare someone to tell me I can't go out. Right, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Do you want that first? You don't want your girl I to be able to go out first. Right, but, no, but, but this is why are they controlling? That's an extreme example. I'm just, that's girl, very there's good. guys like that. There are people, people like that. that. You see, the thing is that I understand why women feel this way. It's like, yo, like they're being controlled. Like, oh, like, so you don't want me to go out. So that means I can't go out in order to be with you. I can't go out. And that's where women just really starts to feel that certain sense of uh, control. Like I said, so it, it, it's hard to really communicate that towards them. You really have to finesse your way into letting them know. It's something that you, ha that you really have to state beforehand. Like, listen, I, I just, I personally don't like it when my girl goes out um, without me. I like, to, I like, I want her to feel safe. Um, I don't want her to put herself in those kinds of situations where she's not safe. And if you're not comfortable with that, you know, I completely understand. I respect that, but it's just not something that I'm looking for. Like that's that's the po most polite, most forward way in which you can say it without having her be, oh, he's being controlling. He's just stating what he wants. Controlling. That's very that's controlling. controlling. That's not just unhealthy. Control. Are you my parent though? You gotta get out of that. Did you that. birth me? Exactly. You're not my father. You're not my dad. Toodaloo. Daddy, but not so, dad. I ask again. Do you care about your There's a difference. Requirements. Do I care about his requirements? Yes, but there is a limit. There's a boundary. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Myron pulled out the so, notebook. Guys. So, <laughs> okay, so we what we can learn from this is that most women's boundary or most women's limit is pretty much if you tell her to go to a club, she's not gonna want she's not gonna want to be with you. That that that's what they're alluding to. That's what they're saying. That's their limit. It's like, yo, listen, if you're gonna control where I go, I don't want to be with you. And and like I said, as a guy, you have to be willing to respect that, bro. You're not gonna sit here and force her or talk her down or nothing like that, bro. It's just you have to move on at that point. If if she really truly feels that way. This is very important. So you decide the limit, right? No, we both decide the limit together. No, he's telling we you compromise. That's a requirement. That's not a requirement. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. Um, I think that um, I would definitely um, ask uh, why. Like, if, if a guy asked, told me he didn't. You see, that's normal, bro. It's normal for you to ponder. At least she's curious enough to ask why. And not, she's not just so determined as, to, uh, no, 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 I don't want this. No, no. And it's like, that's, that's why a woman that's willing to listen, a woman that's willing to understand. And like I said, if you can say it respectfully, then maybe she'll give you what you want. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to be forceful about it. Want me to go out? I would be okay. So why? I'd be like, I'd be like, why? Why do you not want me? And then try to come to a compromise. Like, I don't have to go out every weekend. Compromise. You see? Compromise, bro. If you're not covering all her bills, learn to compromise. She got to learn to compromise. So you, you, to a certain extent, have to as well. But listen, you have your own boundaries. You have your own standards. Don't be ashamed of it. Just learn how to state what you want in a respectful way. And, and see if, you know, we can come to some sort of agreement or compromise. But definitely, I do consider what they want um, and try to please them. And if I if it's totally against my beliefs and how I feel, then we have to have a whole different conversation. Can you cook? See, W woman, W woman. <laughs> I can cook chicken off right up. So, okay, I'll give you an example. So one, of the, one of his uh, standards or requirements is, hey, you know what? I want you to cook for me at least twice a week. Yeah, I feel like I definitely would be willing to do that and chicken learn, you know? <laughs> like, you know, obviously, you that's the thing about me. I'm open to a challenge. See, she's willing. She's open to a challenge, bro. Like, you want a girl that's willing, that's open to these things, bro. You don't want a girl that's just going to deter and be like, nah, I'm not with that. I'm not... It's like, listen, no, again, no disrespect to those girls, bro. No disrespect. But it's just a guy that's looking for those things. If you don't, if you're not willing to provide those things, then why should he want to be with you? 
And as a guy, if you want those things, don't lie to yourself and be like, you know what? She doesn't have to do those things. No, find the girl that you want. If you want her to not go to the club, if you want her to cook two times a week, then she should already have been doing that before you even met her. Challenge, and you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that cooking, is, saying that cooking is a challenge, <laughs> you know? <laughs> She's talking about like Listen, the process. I'm just saying in general, in general, oh. in general, I'm, I'm over to challenge. And, and if it's not against like my I'm core, food, <laughs> like in general, but, but if it's cooking, yeah. yes, I, I would cook. I, I'm, I, you know, I'm going to cook for my man. So you know would what I mean? you I'm going to learn. Cook. <laughs> and I should care about your man's standards then? I like that. She said, I'm going to learn to cook for my man though. I, I, I like the energy. Yes. Okay. Definitely. What about you? Do you care about your man's standards? I actually do. Because I always <laughs> like to see people's perspectives. <laughs> um, I would ask him, like, if he had a problem, like, oh, I don't like you going out and stuff. I would want to know why. Like, why do you feel... See, another one. Another one that's smart, bro. It's just, this, is, this is the smartest way to answer this question. Oh, I, like I just want to know why. Because you're not a robot. I get it. You, you Women are not a robot. You cannot just sit here and be like, yeah, don't go to the club because I said so. And then you just obey and comply. Like that's that's what a robot does, bro. I get it. You you I'd expect some natural um resilience towards it. Problem that I go out or what is the trust issue within that, you know, me going out cuz you know I'm going out to have fun and just kind of like, you know, relax a little bit, you know, Almost hang out fun. with my girls. <laughs> Well, fun for me is mm -hmm. not really a clubbing thing. I'm not a club person. Um you see, I, she's already not a club person, bro. You see, so it's like that. That if if you want these things, then that's that's a girl you might want to be with. Would like to go out, actually do brunch, maybe or what just. If he, what if he told you, you know what? Fuck going out. Instagram page. Don't respond to random niggas on Instagram. I can respect that because you that's feel some type of way mm -hmm. that that you want that out of me, so I can respect that. That's the bare minimum. Of what you okay, wow. You see, that's the bare minimum, bro. You see that? That's W woman, bro. We we got we got to give him a clap, bro. No to Instagram. This is all the things that they're saying. So no going to club, uh, cook two times a week, and IG don't reply to uh, random dudes on IG, pretty much. You know, those are, those are, that, I think those are bare minimum requirements that, that every guy would like, bro. That most guys would like, all right? Said no Instagram. Right. No Ooh. butt pics. At all. I would want to no, like, delete your whole pics. Instagram. No bikini pics. No, delete your whole Instagram. But that's part of her career, she said. That's exactly. a part of my career. Yeah. So now you want me to delete you my Instagram. You want me to delete my Instagram, but then I'm tarnishing my promotion because I'm promoting myself. If, if his work is different, though. But yeah. that's my Instagram. Yeah. It's based it's off work. my work. Yeah. So if you want me to delete my Instagram, <laughs> then why do you want me to tarnish my career? Do you not want me to grow? Because I really right now in my life don't see myself doing anything other. I've done my backup plan. I've graduated from college. So why do you want me to stop now? Is it your you see, insecurity? You see, she's you see, she's 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 coming from a very smart, logical place. You know, where she's curious. And, and like I said, I respect that all the time. Now, is it coming from a place of insecurity? Listen, let's be honest, bro. Guys get insecure too, bro. There's nothing wrong. I mean, there is something wrong with it, but it's like you have to acknowledge it, take accountability for your insecurities, and then grow from it, bro. Please, I will point that out. Where is the root of everything? Because that's what I'm doing with my life, mm -hmm. finding the root of my issues. Mm -hmm. So if you present something and I'm being your woman... So, so just to bring this home, so your man gives you a requirement or standards, mm -hmm. you would ask questions, clarify why he wants it, and then adhere to it or say no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I would adhere <laughs> to it or say no. Yeah. Like it is what it is. Nina, what about you? Do you care about um, your man's standards? I do, <laughs> as long as he meets no. my standards. No. <laughs> your sneak goes just like, no. Mm -hmm. And what are, what are your standards? I just really want someone who is actually going to be working like a man. <laughs> oh. Mm. Wait, wait. Oh. What does that mean? She wants a guy that's going to be working with a man. What? <laughs> yeah, that's what we, <laughs> details. What that we need details. Men. The question was, the question was, does your girl, do you care about what a guy wants? Came here to work and sweat. Yeah, like a man should be able to do everything. Like freaking 
fix the hole in the wall. A man should be able to do everything. Everything. <laughs> everything. You see, it's like that's those women where it's just they're just being so silly because they've never actually taken the moment to figure out what they like in a guy or what a guy actually wants. And and that's just that's just a a, a silly response, bro. So I'm not even gonna take her seriously at all. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a requirement uh, for a man. I'm just saying, Everything. like, most men nowadays, Everything. they they're just so sissy, and they give you this, like, <laughs> oh my god, I broke my nail vibe, you oh. know. Oh, so you what guys are you talking to? All right, all right. She's talking about a certain vibe that guys portray off, and that's again when you start to look weak, when you act weak, you look vulnerable, and then they use it against you like this. All right, she's two seconds away from dropping that guy's name. Don't be that guy in front of your girl. Don't do it. Huh? What do you want to marry, She's man? Like, yeah. Like, man, so when that takes charge. So, so question. Mm -hmm. Your guy says to you, Nina, I care about you. I want to go long term. You can't go on a yacht with random niggas and twerk. <laughs> What's your say to that? She's she going to do it. It's, it's there, only right? on the fresh and fit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 no, they're not randoms. Yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, you shit. asked an yeah. easy question. So, what if he's told you that you can't sell leggings because you got to promote it with your booty? Or ooh. have OnlyFans. Wait, ooh. No, or have OnlyFans. Wait, 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 wait. So, we, we believe it's, if it's business, it's different because that's your income. You, mm -hmm. you don't want to just shut off unless you're paying for the girl complete lifestyle mm -hmm. then it's different. So business mm -hmm. is fine. But so you see, the only the only way you can really get a woman to stop her, drop her IG if she's doing this for business, is if you cover her expenses that she's making from from that IG. Then she can delete it because you literally just bought out her business. So on a yacht, is that would you not go on a yacht because he says so? If he pays for my living, yes, I know that's my. You see, you see, that's how you negotiate deals, boys and girls. That's how you negotiate deals. Downfall. It's okay. <laughs> so most of us can't afford it bro most of us can't afford it and i'm gonna be honest i cannot afford that bro so it's like but i know that and that's why i don't sit here I, I i am not gonna entertain these women because there's no point i cannot provide value into their life you know i'll talk to them i respect them i'll try not to judge them you know because I, I i like to respect everybody's point of view everybody's perspective let them make their own mistakes i just know what i want living or any of your bills period like, yeah, does he, it have to just be living? He or? has to cover my my life, cover my life and my fu my future <laughs> so too. So basically, be in charge of so you. So if he's taking care of you, so she knows what she wants, which is just to be, basically, uh, like taken care of. You know what I'm saying? So okay, great. So what does the guy want though? What are you willing to do that the guy wants? Listen to what he has to say and actually care about it. Yeah. But if he's not, it's like fuck you, nigga. Or yeah, no, exactly. She wants to be okay. a dependent. No, okay. it's not she even about that. Claim That's exactly what it is. It's not on the taxes. He no, wants it's... to pay for everything and do everything for you. That's exactly what. No, what do you mean? Is. Not do everything? Like I'm gonna be cooking and cleaning no, and doing. So, so basically, what you're saying, what like you're saying is like live your in... life. The thing but... is that I think most men nowadays are very lazy. Yeah. And they're very like okay with living a mediocre life. Thank you. It's true, bro. It's true. Let's keep it 100, bro. A lot of y'all a lot of y'all are lazy, bro. A lot of y'all lazy. Even I get lazy, bro. We all get lazy. And we all have to motivate ourselves to get ourselves out that ditch. Dig ourselves out, bro. Stop being lazy. Go do your push-ups. Go get that business that you want that you want to get to, all right? Go hustle, bro. Learn new skills. All right? Very general things, obviously. Oh, yes. I don't want to say those I words, but Nico, for you. Break free. Oh I my god, to. bro. Ads, really? Really? Come on, man. I want to hear what Sneeko's gonna say. Requirement I don't standards? give a fuck what the, I, I whatever she wants to do, that's fine with me. If it doesn't align with what I do, <laughs> I let her go. Oh no. Oh, is that his girl? Oh, is that his girl? Oh wow. Okay. She's asking you, you know what, Sneeko? I love you, I care about you, but I don't like you going to do interviews in public with girls like I don't like that. No nah, work comes first. That's like you need to put your work first, no matter what. See that that's a fact, bro. Like, let's keep it hundred, bro. You gotta put you gotta put yourself first because listen, if you're gonna take care of this girl, guess what? If that if that's the job that you do and she's willing to get in, get in the way of that, she's gonna fumble the bag. She's gonna fumble your bag and she's gonna fumble fumble the whole vision. All right. So yeah, you have to put yourself first before your girl. I I tell this. I I've been saying this for a long time, bro. Prioritize yourself first. You can't lead by example if you're trying to fix somebody else and you haven't fixed your, yourself first.
if anything comes in between that, you should drop the person. You shouldn't let anyone fuck up your money. Okay. Okay. Sneeko, I don't like that shirt. Do you agree? That you're wearing. <laughs> you don't like my shirt? No, no. She says that to you. Uh, yeah, but, but but fresh. Get a man with a better shirt. <laughs> He's like, wait, 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 but, but. You see, like, for that, it's just like, yo, listen, like, obviously, don't let her completely change your wardrobe. Listen, if she just makes a comment, you don't like that shirt, then you, you don't have to wear it around her. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that's a little compromise. That's a small compromise you can do, bro. All right. But, you know, if she's like, I don't like that shirt, never wear it again. Listen, do I tell you what to wear? <laughs> no, but guess what? You know what? For this one time, I am going to listen to you and I'm going to respect your wishes. Okay. Agreed. Yes, daddy. Okay. Great. Fresh. Okay. He's one zebra and uh, she, she's one zebra too. We match. We coordinated. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. so, yeah. Fresh. You know, oh, what about you? Um, me? Absolutely. Like, man, he went so easy on Sneeko, bro. Come on now. If my man wasn't comfortable with something that I was doing, I would do whatever I need to to make him feel comfortable, especially because the one I have now, like he would do literally anything to make sure I'm comfortable. Can he cheat? I mean, if he really wants to, that's part of the sexual okay. needs. He just talked to me about it, but oh, you see, yo, she's open, bro. I've, I've I've really almost never seen a girl be this open. I know he's not gonna do that. What? So, you so you're willing that. for open? Okay, so so if he if he just happened mm -hmm. to like fall into, <laughs> Jesus, so if he just happened to fall into it, yeah, slip, yeah. which I don't think will happen, but because he like where he is at, he likes where he's at. for now. I'm now, and I even know for now, Chris, because I already told you. <laughs> <laughs> this is the old one that came back. They uh, always come uh, back. DTV. Talk your shit. Nigga says to you, disturbing the bitches. Look, girl, I'm going to take care of you. I got your back. <laughs> Don't oh. tell me what the fuck to do. Wait, what? Wow. She immediately stopped. She didn't even let him finish his own response. That right there is a red flag, bro. She got the red. She got the red hair for the red flag for this one, bro. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, don't give, I make the rules. I wear the pants in the fucking house. Yeah. Okay. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Dominant woman here. Dominant woman here. Still gonna pay the bills. Oh. Or are you not getting none of this pussy? See, and when you got right. good pussy, that's you toxic. can make your own motherfucker rules. I got good pussy. <laughs> okay. So they, my niggas, listen to me. All right. So what's uh, <laughs> good about? All right. You see, you see, you see. Listen, there's not. Like I said, I don't judge women that want to have that dominant frame. Listen, if that's what they want, they know what they want, and they know the kind of guy they want to be with. Great, absolutely great. Respect it, one hundred percent. I can't tell you how many girls do the same thing. I'm yeah, the they say the same thing, but do they live the same thing? Mm. Okay. That's the difference. Anybody life. can say they got good pussy, but uh, who what, is what really... What makes your pussy so good? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I got to ask the niggas. They say know. it's really wet and like, they say like, it'd be like, it, it, like, I'd be... Is it tight? It's tight. tight yeah. It's wet. It'd be like squirt. Uh, it's a lot of shit be going on down squirt? there. Mm. I don't even... Can you, can you squirt out. on command or is it... No, I can't. It, it, it's, it's not the... that good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, facts. Facts. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, it, 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 Ooh, yo, Sneeko coming out with some fire, bro. It's not that good. <laughs> it okay. depends on the dick. The dick I mean, make me yeah, squirt. If you Different dicks make down. it work. And, but I don't know. Okay. But from my experience in real life... When my real bills got really paid, yeah, dude, shit, shit something got to be good. And whether it's the pussy, I, the head, the I, throat, I, whatever. I will say this. Something got to be good. If niggas are flying into like, do shit like that for you and lifestyle, something might be there. But I don't know if it's... Uh -huh. Hey, uh, I don't, sorry, or maybe uh, I have a really good personality. DCP, uh, no. can you show the uh, the chat what's really good? What uh, Booty-wise? BBL. No, it's not a BBL. I just got liposuction. Right? All right, all right. Do it, do it, do it. All right. Okay. Stand up. Oh. Show up. Wait. Oh. She said hourglass. What's she showing? Showing her body right now? Oh, she's very much hourglass. They said the fuck out of you. Body. Who's your doctor? Yeah, Megan that's who? not a BBL. Megan who? No, that's it's not a BBL. Stop, Stop capping, bro. That is hell of a BBL, bro. It's not a BBL. I just got liposuction. God so damn. basically, my whole body always been big. Then I just oh, suck this okay. part out. Yeah. It's big. It's big. It makes this it's part look show. bigger. They're starving the booty. All right. Seven, five. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but I got no proof. I got no proof on that cap, so we just gotta take it as truth. You ain't gotta listen to nobody. <laughs> we but about I wanna, we I wanna say one thing too. I'm sorry. Cause recently I did learn something from being on this podcast. Oh, really? 
I did. Oh, wow, she learned something. Great, great. I want to hear it. Um, <laughs> I did, honestly, when you were talking about, you know, female and compliance. So I have been being a little bit more um, sweeter to my sugar daddies. Oh, <laughs> feminine. I've been, been, there you go. I've been being more There sim- you go. You see, you see, as long as you learn and you want to do those things, that's a good um, display of self-growth and self-awareness right there submissive and more feminine just because i was on here i was like damn men really probably do like that (laughs) they do Um, like i'll be mad and have attitude they'll be like oh i'm sorry yo (laughs) and i try to be nicer and girlier so thank you you guys shout to you hey and she probably got more money just because she gave the guy exactly what he wanted what's the cut though (laughs) (laughs) what he said never mind (laughs) (laughs) where's the cut oh what about you do you care um, about your man's standards or requirements? I definitely do care about his standards and requirements, but there is a line between requirements and you trying to control me. Mm-hmm. Like in my younger mm-hmm. days, I did have an ex boyfriend that'd be like, okay, no girls out, go, no girls night out because all your girl friends are hoes. So, like, you know, <laughs> like that's what I've he said. That. And he used to be no like, way. he used to be like, birds of a feather flock together. So if you go out with him, you'll He hope. told you that? Yeah. Like he was, no way. he was mad controlling. <laughs> <laughs> Birds of a fle- birds of a feather flock together. That's a good one, boys. That's a good one. I like that one. Yeah, yeah, that shit. Shit. Yeah, yeah, so you know, something. like I stopped going out as much, and then it was like, okay, now you need your location on all the time because I need oh, to know where you at. Bro, like no. it just became like a, a controlling password. Matter. See that that is, that is very controlling, bro. That'd be that is way way too controlling. Like of control, Not yeah, control. just more and more control because I just kept being submissive, and he was like, "Okay, let's see what else I can do." Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? So I would re- uh, respect his standards and his requirements, but I would not be controlled like a child. You know? Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, we'll come back to that. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, she's like, "Hell no, nigga." He said, "We coming back to that." What do you mean, bro? All right, let's see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see what he has to say. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, position myself. I'm ready. Okay, so here's my thing. I'm going to listen to you, right? Oh, I'm going to listen to you, right? I'm going to, like, take all of that into account. I'm going to be like, okay, you know, I'm going to pay attention to what you have to say. Now, the minute that I think what you're saying is absolutely ridiculous, Uh, I just can't do it. Like, I'm going to have a heart attack. So it's one of those situations where the minute that you try to control literally any aspect of my life that I feel is just absurd, like anything on Instagram, bro, it's social media, like get over it. This is the- No, 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 no. You see that that's that's where you just want to be ignorant and you just want to literally push your own agenda. You're not really listening. You're just hearing to hear things. And then you're just like, yeah, I don't agree with none of them. I'm not doing any of them. That's it. And that's great for you. That's great. But I don't want that. So, you know, it's been a great time, hun. Uh, you know, I, 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 I wish you well. I wish you um, much luck on your next pursuit, but it's not going to work out. The way that the new people literally do everything is through our social media. If you're going to have a problem with that, I'm sorry, you like don't belong in this century. You should probably find somewhere else to go. Find a time machine because literally it's not... The, the ignorance is real, bro. The ignorance on this woman is real. Is real, real. And that the world <laughs> works now. Like, literally, like, I mean, don't control. So, me. what if you just said, you know, you have to be con- conscious of what you're posting, all right? And what other people are seeing and how they're viewing your man, as well as how they're viewing you. Babe, you're awesome. I just, oh, I don't like when niggas hit you up. Don't respond to them, at least. No. So, I mean, with my job, that's not going to happen. <laughs> Literally, I'm an OnlyFans girl. My love. I'd be DMing dudes all day, baby. That's my job. Like, we could hire automation Uh-oh. for it, baby. No, they know. I know my fans. I'm in the top point on one percent, <laughs> baby. I got to keep my percent. Okay. Well, yeah, gotta keep it. That money. requires it's a business. lot. I have it's three. Business. Oh, trust me. I got three sexters. I got two people on my thing, but I still like, bro. Even without me, it's crazy. Okay. It's crazy. What about you? Uh, yeah, no, I definitely won't be controlled. I think that's kind of what we've all. Yeah, no. <laughs> Why'd you get married? <laughs> well, no, I'm not married yet. I am getting married in August. But he. So, and that's the point is a lot of women don't like it when you control their life. They like it when you take control of situations. And that's what you get when you state your own boundaries, when you state your own standards. All right. You can't sit here and just force things on people. It's not going to work like that. He doesn't control me. He doesn't. I mean, he doesn't we talk about standards all the time and we talk about 
um, what works for us and we communicate about that. But what's that. the point of getting married then? What well, I'm not getting controlled. That's not, you know, like getting married doesn't mean that you that just give up control. That's exactly what it is. No, absolutely not. No, not when, now, you're not signing now. a contract to be together. Yeah, to be as one. together as, as one. one. Exactly. Yeah, as that's one. what I was going to say. But it's not a control. It's not it's, but it's, it's not really as one, bro. Mar marriage is a whole other subject, but it's like a guy is signing away a lot of his rights in benefit of the woman. It's not fair at all. It's not a one thing. It's it's really, truly not. All right. Women are delusional to this aspect. Men that actually understand contracts, that actually read through these things, that have actually seen the Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard trial, that's exactly where it, it will all lead to, or it could lead to. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I like everything that comes before the contract when it comes to marriage. I like the way in which couples communicate with each other. I like the way in which they're able to grow with each other. I like the way in which maybe they're even able to move in with each other and start a family. I like all that. But when it comes to marriage and signing that piece of paper, in America, the contract ain't worth it, bro. It's not worth it. No it's control. It's giving up you as a single person. Mm. Well, I mean, I gave up being a single person back when I was 15. Like, but now know, legally I, you're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> legally signing it. Like, like, paper for or years. not, like, yeah, there's no difference there. It's just, no, there is a difference. It's called leg legality. You're signing away your rights, bro. You got to communicate. So, I mean, some people may be like, yeah, okay, I'm cool with you. Tell me what to do. And I'm just not like that. I'd be like, so, I'll cook for you every night. So I'm though, curious. Right? You and your man, right? All right. They didn't, they didn't really get anywhere with that. That was the end of that conversation. Um, listen, the boy Schneeko didn't say a lot. I thought he was going to say a lot more than that, but he didn't. Anyways, we did learn about, um, you know, I guess stay, I guess what, how women think about what men want. And from what I've seen from what Fresh was stating is, are they willing to give up going to the club? Are they willing to cook two times a week? Are they willing to uh, stop their IGs? And like, like I said, it all comes about how you introduce the conversation how you're able to open up these these uh, lines of communication with them. You don't be forceful. Get a woman that's really willing to listen to your point of view. And then that's how you really have that conversation, bro. All right. Don't have it on the first date. Just slowly start dropping little seeds, little hints. And, and you just see what you want. And you see where you want to lead the conversation to. All right. So thank you for joining me on this episode of Jesus Talks. As I always say, don't subscribe. Don't even bother subscribing if I haven't provided you with actual value that you can apply to your life. Peace.